hello and welcome back to the another video of the java tutorial series so today oh, we are continuing our project number one that is banking application and in this video we will finishing it okay so in our previous video we have discussed about the show menu functionality of our application and i have told you what there when there is mistake is there inside this method that is what if we are checking the cases for the this letter that is uh, capital letters capital a capital b capital c capital d and the capital e okay one minute okay so where we are uh, i have told you that one mistake is there inside this code that is uh, we are checking this case case for the capital letters that is capital a capital b capital c d and e and what if the user is entering this small uh, small letters okay so that is a b c d e uh, because this switch uh, switch is comparing that case using the ASCII ASCII value of that characters okay so the ASCII value of the capital A and uh, ASCII value of the capital small a are different so that's why user will doesn't know what is happening why the code is not getting run for the case number A because user had entered the small letters okay instead of entering this capital letters so this is the problem so what we can do, uh, whether the user will enter that characters in, in a small letter or the capital letter, uh, we are storing that inside the option option variable. We will convert that uh, input into capital letters. Okay. So what we can do is there is one uh, inbuilt class inside Java which is character and which has one function that to upper case and this will accept one character and which is which character is this options okay so what this uh, will do let me just increase the font size so that you can see clearly this will uh, get that options input from this option and it will convert apply the two uh, apply not apply it will pass that options or the letter whether it, it is in a small or capital letter to the uppercase method and uppercase method will return the capitalized form of that character okay so let me just show you uh, this implementation of this here you can see the public static care method is written inside the java this is the document uh, inbuilt methods which are written inside the java and here you can see what we, what it is returning it is returning to uppercase of that character okay so i guess this will uh, remove the problem that we have inside our application and let me just okay so now i guess we have done all the part that we have we want to do inside our bank account class and we have implemented all the functionalities inside this and now we have to run this and we know from uh, where our program will get executed inside this main method okay so inside that this is class banking application and this is a class bank account so both class are different and all our functionalities are written inside this bank account class and we now we have to tell this bank application class that there is a bank account class is there and we have to create one object of that class okay so how to create the object of the class bank we will simply write bank account don't worry for time being just remember uh, be with me uh, I will cover all those classes. What is class object inside our uh, upcoming code is inside that oops Concepts, okay bank account and we will uh, give a name to the object. Okay, so let me just write uh, As bank one whatever you can you can simply give your name also. Okay, what it is it doesn't make any sense Okay, but normal convention is that you should give object name as so uh, that you can understand by looking at the object name what we have done inside this okay so we'll create a new bank account and here you can see in delg idea is telling me that this object will require one two parameter that is cname and cid so i have uh, in the previous video i have told you that this is the constructor which accepts a cname and cid and i have told you that whenever you create an object of that class the, it it calls the constructor of that class and we have written our constructor over here and our, this constructor accepts the two parameters cname and cid so that's why we have to 
give two parameters to this program so let me just give the customer name as x y z you can give your name also as a customer name if you want and again uh, second parameter is cid uh, so let's suppose customer id is uh, let's suppose one zero one okay this is the customer id okay uh, this is pretty much that we have to do and we can uh, now the object is created for that class name bank account okay so using that object we can call any method written inside that bank account class okay so what, what are the methods written inside this is void deposit void withdraw void get bills send action void show menu so one thing you tell me or you you decide which method i can call so that all the functionality of our application will be done inside that so i think there is only one method which uh, which is there show menu method and which will implement all these functionalities of our application here itself okay so i will call that method using the object name so for calling that method we will uh, write object name that is bank1 dot now you can see show menu is there show menu okay so this will call that show menu uh, method okay inside this okay so i guess this is pretty much that we have to do inside this project so i hope uh, this will run let me just run this okay it's running and now here you can see it is like asking me to enter the number of terms you want in the series uh wait i guess this running the previous sorry sorry guys this is running the previous uh, class java class i guess and now i have to run this java class itself ah yes now see here you can see welcome xyz your id is 01 how this is doing uh, we are passing xyz and 01 to this class constructor and this constructor is assigning that c name and cid value to the customer name and customer ids over here okay and those customer ids and customer name are getting printed on the console here customer name and customer id so i hope you guys are getting this and now it is asking for the option uh, so let's suppose we have to check the balance and deposit the balance and withdraw the previous transaction okay so we'll go one by one okay uh, i will type a okay so we will check uh, first of all uh, let me check the error that we have rectified over here okay if i give small a and if i hit enter the check balance should be there so he was selling invalid option should be invalid option is there uh, because i guess this is not working here I, why it is not working i don't get it okay let it be uh, i will rectify this error and will let you know in the upcoming videos okay uh, for time now being uh, we will give the capitalized inputs to the, our application okay capital a so now here you can see balance is zero it's showing balance is zero because we don't have any uh, done uh, deposit or withdraw from our account and initially the value of the balance uh, variable that we have declared over here is zero okay that's why it is printing zero in this console okay uh, Okay, now let me just increase the size of the console. Uh, and now, if I do B, B, what is the B? Deposit. Uh, enter the amount that you want to deposit. Let's suppose I have to deposit thousand rupees or thousand dollars in my account. Okay, and then if I uh, hit enter, uh, now thousand rupees or thousand dollars I uh, deposited in my account. Now, if I do option A, that is new balance now here you can see balance is thousand previously it was telling that balance is zero now the balance is thousand okay uh one second guys so now we have checked the balance that is thousand so we have implemented the check balance and deposit now if i want to withdraw money from my account i have to give input as c C and I want to draw amount thousand. Okay, now suppose not thousand, five hundred. Uh, now if I check the balance for checking balance, um, balance is hundred. And now at last I want to check the previous transaction that I have done. D. So 
so here you can see if I type D withdrawn 500 that is the thing that I have done previously so that is withdraw for the $500 from the account okay so I guess we have implemented all those checks now at last I have to implement E if I press enter now here you can see process finished with exit code 0 that is our code will get ended and we will get out of this main method okay so this is pretty much about this project i hope you have enjoyed this project uh, and in our upcoming tutorial series we will be starting uh, oops concept from the onwards videos okay so thank you for watching this video